G'day all and welcome back to the channel. So today we are off to Ivory Sands for this playthrough. This course I did grab off a Facebook um, group and it is designed by our first designing couple. So yeah, I guess you could say this is kind of like a collab, I guess. Anyway, it is designed by Michael and Leslie Cordray. Hopefully I said their um, last name right. Anyway, let's get into today's settings. Uh, what do we got? Wind speeds are default, wind direction is default. Um, fairways are firm, greens are soft, green speed is fast, time of day is dawn, the weather is overcast and the crowds are on. And we will be playing from the blue tees measuring 7,199 yards on pin set one. All right, that's enough of the business. Now's the time to gather around, sit back and relax and yeah, let's go check out this course for them. Okay, here we are on the first tee, so let's just pull the camera back slowly and rip it up and see what we can go and see on this course. Lovely opening hole though, looks so nice back down there. Is there a clubhouse area? Oh, there is, and there is a hell of a lot of building work out to the sides as well. Purely for eye candy, which is really damn cool. Nice little bit of a hole up the back there. And you've got a nice little clubhouse area here. Absolutely beautiful time of day. It's slightly overcast. Now if we can just cruise back down through here. This, I'm pretty sure this was the path back to the first tee, which it is. Look at that for a shot off that first tee. Absolutely beautiful. And you've got this nice little dirt path just laid out down through here, across the little boardwalk, up onto the fairway. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Now Leslie did put a post on Facebook listing quite a few courses. Nice little tennis court down here and maybe like a little place where you could stay, I'm not sure, nice pool out the back, um, yeah sorry, Le Leslie did post, um, I put a post up on Facebook listing a lot of the courses that they had done, and now I went for a fly around every one of them but one, so I don't know, but this was my pick out of the lot, because um, I could only play one at a time, but I can tell you now, every one of their courses, there is no short of detail, I can tell you now. So like, look at this, just little things like this, walking through, going through here, around, up to the stairs, up onto your next tee box. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful looking course. <laughs> when I seen that it was a um, couple designing, I had this picture in my head for some reason that, like, at the dinner table, the conversations would probably go sort of, maybe somewhat like this, you know, like, one of them sitting there going, hey babe, check out this par four that I that we'll just come up with. You could tee off from here, hit across to the nice wide stake fairway, or you could risk it and go longer across the gravy and to get up to further up on the fairway for a nice little second shot into the beautifully sculpted carrot green. And yeah, what do you reckon of that par four? <laughs> Partner be like, well, what's the mashed potato? Well, they're bunkers, of course. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. looks pretty cool. But can you pass the salt? Oh, you mean the golf cart? I <laughs> just, I don't know, I just pictured something along the lines of that, but yeah, anyway, let's get back into the course, absolutely beautiful plant work, and everything that's going on down here, so I'm not sure who does what on the course, maybe they both do the routing, maybe they both got to say, I don't know, but it doesn't matter, all that matters is they put out very nice courses like this, absolutely beautiful, just go around by the coast here, you've got, you can see they've used the bunker, to uh, form that beach. I wish you could make a bit of um, a bit better sand areas out of, the bunker looks nice, don't get me wrong, but out of the um, different terrains, all the textures and everything. I know like in the desert and everything, it works beautifully, but you know, in the, um, in the tropical and stuff, yeah, it's a little bit harder. But yeah, absolutely beautiful looking course. All right, well, I think we shall just get back to the first tee and start swinging. Let's get down there I am, right there, and yeah, Master Clubs, here we go. Okay, here we go, hole one, par four, what have we got, 382 yards, 23 feet down, and a nice eight mile breeze going with us. Alright, let's see if we can launch it down there perfectly. Oh, that didn't sound too bad, slide a little fast, that's gone out to the left, hopefully it comes back on the fairway. Ooh, that could kick out. Yes, it has. All right, not too bad. Now, I did calibrate my clubs before I came into this one because um, I was just having a nice little round on my pro clubs as I play. And, man, I could not hit anything. I 
I could not get a perfect for the life of me. Went to master and oh, that was worse. So yeah, went to the swing calibration and see if it does anything. Me personally, I think it's more of a um, mental thing. But anyway, uh, what do we got here? 115, two up. Uh, Alright, so two up, 115. Ooh, got that, got that little bit of wind that's going to take us there as well. Let's see, we just put a tiny little bit of low loft on this um, sand wedge here. Yeah, pray for a um, nice perfect, didn't it? Oh, that was slow. That was almighty slow. Yeah, that was me. Alright, just on the edge. That's a nasty ass chip too. That is a nasty chip. That is really going to run. I think I might just take the old pitching wedge onto this, see if we can just get out and up on there. Oh, could you imagine the 9-iron? Could you imagine it? It probably would have been in the bunker down the back there somewhere. Oh, nice little tap in for a par here. All oh, these these greens might be a bit tough today. What is the green speed? Oh, 187. That's pretty damn quick. Oh, and we pull off a par. All right, let's call that one a warm-up. Actually, it'll probably be the best hole I've had today. <laughs> okay, hole two, par three. What have we got? 160 yards, 11 up. Absolutely beautiful looking little par three here. Um, okay, so 11 up plus that wind. Let's just bump a little bit extra on that. Smash in with a six. Well, that felt not too bad, actually. Well, we played a little long, but... Is it off? Yes, it is. Okay, nice little chip. All right, here we go. 11 yards. That's got a bit of a break to it as well. What have we got in the hand? Lob wedge. Ooh, what's that go out to? You know what? That might just get there, you know. It's slightly uphill by the look of it a little. Oh, not too bad. Oh wow, it's still rolling. Alright, another nice little putt for par there. As always, if I finish even with the master difficulty, I'll be a happy man. Okay, hole three, par four. Uh, we got 287 yards, 40 feet down. We have the three wood in the hand. Oh, we could possibly drive that. We do have that bit of wind. Oh, we could drive that, you know. We're going to overshoot it, but I'm, go I'm going for it. You know I'm going to go for it. Oh, perfect too. Absolutely nailed it. Sit down. Oh, I was going to say, if that holds the green, no, that's just gonna, we're going to be chipping on, but I'm happy with that. Nice little chip here for Eagle, and well, if we miss it, I reckon I'll get a birdie out of it. Okay, so that's got a nasty little run downhill here. Let's pull this back a bit. Seeing that these fast greens. Let's see if this lob wedge will roll out. I'm sure it will. Oh, ho, ho. not too bad. And we pick up a nice little birdie. All right, one under after three. Yeah, what a beautiful course. And like I said, every every one of their courses was just as good as this. But yeah, this was definitely my pick. This one and um, Elliot Heads, actually, because that reminded me of a lot like Australia. And I do want to check out their um, Snow Peak Falls, which is a nine-hole par three course. So yeah, that would be pretty cool. Maybe some down, time, time down the track with a mate or something like that. Anyway... Hole four, par five. What have we got? 542 yards, six feet up, eight miles going with us. Let's see if we can crack that straight up the middle. Oh, crikey, that was a bit of a big slow, wasn't it? Oh, is it going to stay? Yep, that's in the rough. Okay, playing from the thick shit. All right, yep, I think we'll just four iron that. It's not even going to get out there. Oh, now we're going all the other way. Massive far, see? The swing calibration doesn't do a damn thing. 
It's all a mental game, and yeah, I haven't fallen for it. Uh, what do we got? 150 yards, six feet out. No, oh, sorry, six feet down, six feet out. 100 feet. <laughs> uh, all right, nine miles going with us. Let's pull that back. That nine iron's going to be a bit much there, even for this. 27, nine, eight mile winds. Let's put a bit of low loft on it and see what we can do with this. Well, that sounded perfect. Oh, that could be a little, that could roll out a little far, actually. Oh, no, no. Slowing down nicely. I was afraid for a second I put a little bit too much low loft on that. Always find that hard to judge, the high loft and low loft. Alright, birdie time. Oh, and it didn't break! No! Alright, part time. Oh, and it just fell in. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. Birdie part, such an easy part too. All right, hole five, par four. Uh, what have we got? Three hundred and sixty-one yards, eighteen up, four coming against us. Straight out the middle, please. Oh, massive slow. All right, we gotta we gotta move that thumb. I tell you. Oh, don't put me behind that tree. Oh, you're fucking shitting me. You're kidding. Look at that. One tree on the side, had to park right behind it. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, eight iron pitch, no, we will not be taking an eight iron pitch out of here. So that's about there, so let's say one, two, nine iron. That's looking not too bad, the old nine. Let's give it a bit of this, so we can get around this tree. Bit of a slow. Is it going to get up there? Oh, no. Oh, is that bunker or fairway? I'm going to say fairway. Yes, it is. All right, what do we got? Sandwich chip. That's uphill, so we will take the gap ledge chip. Thank you. This might still even fall short. Oh, the distance would have been spot on. Okay, another little par. So, remaining one under still. Should have been two, but you know, you get that. Alright, what have we got here? Hole six, par five. Uh, 596 yards, 24 feet down, seven coming at us. Right. Be faster, thumb. There we go. Oh, fuck, now we're going too fast. Such a fine line. Oh, that's probably not a bad thing that's pushed to the bunker. Oh, let's just knock it out with the hybrid. Now we get the perfect. Probably wouldn't have mattered that from there. Alright, oh, here's a hole looking out. You got the um, boats in the background and everything. Very nice. Uh, 156. Nine old breeze come at us. I might take the seven into this one. A slight little fast. Oof. That is going way left. Okay. Lose with a nice little chip though. Chip for a bird here. This would be nice. Oh, now this is going to run a little bit. Oh, it's just going to miss. Oh, so close. Uh, par on a par, par five is never the best of um, things, but I'll take it. Oh, challenging course, Joe. It's definitely um making me work for it. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Hole seven, par three. 
124 yards, 19 down. Beautiful little par three hole in one chance. Alright, so 19 down plus that wind. That's sandwich, maybe? That might get up there if I get under it nicely. Oh, oh, dead set perfect. I thought I ripped a massive fast than that. Oh, that needed some low loft. Roll up there. Oof. Okay, a bit of a um, bit of a putt for. Oh yeah, this is a bit of a birdie putt, all right. Okay, slightly downhill too, and that's got some turn. Well, I think it has. Looks like it has. Oh, is it getting in? Is it in? Is it? What a putt. That's right. Number one. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, hole eight. Par four. Uh, 373 yards. What have we got? Four feet down. Seven coming at us. Again. Ooh, we have a three wood in the hand. Hang on a minute. Yeah, give me the driver. Shit. Bloody caddy. Right. Oh. That one felt better. Oh, slow, little slow. That could be in the cabbage. Oh, there's a nice. Oh, there's a bunker tucked in under there too. Kick off the hill. Oh, look at that VIP bounce. <laughs> uh, as if. All right, 103 remaining. Four up. Seven at us again. Nine iron pitch. Oh, I don't think so. So sand wedge. Let's take the old gap wedge out into this one. Just a full gap wedge. Straight into it. A massive slow. That should slow it down nicely. Is that fringe there? Oh, it is too. It's hard to tell. The two um colours. Lobber's chip. Now this, again, should roll out. A bit more of a break on this one. Oh, it's coming around beautifully. Get in that! What was that? What was that? Oh, you're kidding me. That was on target too. Fucking ball. All right, hole nine. Par four. Uh, what have we got? 494 yards, 28 feet down. Seven miles going with us on this one. So we can see if we can ride that. Oh, just like that. Thank you, get up. Oh, nice little kick. Again, thank you. It's a nice little shot down into the green here. It's been a beautiful course to play on. Thoroughly enjoying this. Uh, what do we got? 167, nine down. And nine going with us. So yeah, in saying that, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. If you're enjoying the video, by all means, you can hit that thumbs up. Helps out the channel greatly. Also does um, by smashing that subscribe as well. So yeah, always see some pretty cool courses on the channel. Always do, do look for something different. Um, all right. So what do we got here? Ten miles going with us. One sixty-seven, nine down. Oof. That's going to play a bit. Half tempted to bring it in with a nine on this. Not without lie. Another perfect shot in it. That wind has taken it out though. That's it. Nice little bounce. Nice little roll. And I am damn happy with that one. Oh, nasty little break. Ass pucker and putt coming right up. Oof, how much is that going to turn? I think a little too much, is it? Oh, it's in. Get in that hole. <laughs> okay. That is the front nine down, so three under after that. Not too bad. Okay, hole ten, par four. And we've got 385 yards, 23 feet down. Eight miles coming at us this time. Let's put that way over this way. Oh, that was slow. Shit! I've, I've got to speed my thumb up. 
I'm so worried about just trying to get to get that perfect and it hinders me every time. I just gotta swing at it. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, what do we got? 143 remaining 10 up. We are in the thick of it. So we need to punch it out with a couple more clubs on this one. I'm gonna take the six. Possibly even go the four, but I'll recommend the six on this, possibly. Actually, I reckon we need do need the four, but see how this goes. Oh, that's thick. That's thick. <laughs> that was thick. And a slow again. All right, that's enough about the swinging. Oh, sandwich splash. Oh, shit. Will we get out of the bunker? Talking about swinging. Let's take that up to a cat wedge splash. Oh no, get up! Oh, thank God for that. That did not sound like the best of shots, and I really didn't think it was going to get up that high. Oh, it's a nasty par putt here. That's got some nasty little break to it. Slide uphill. But it finds the hole. Thank you. Okay, hole 11. Par 5. 5.64, 13 down and 5 going with us. Oh, again. Again! Tell you what, you'd think I'd be used from uh, used to playing out of the rough, wouldn't you? All right, two ninety nine remaining. Oh, 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 oh! Let's um, give me a bigger club, please. Three wood? No, I might just hybrid this. Purely because I don't really like my three wood. I don't really like it at all. I need to change it. I think I've got the Wilson 3-wood. I was quite comfortable with the old um, the tailor made. Uh, 174, what have we got? Uh, 174... I'm oh, sorry, one, sorry, just 74. I had a total mind blank right then. Looking at the wind and everything. I'm gonna lie. It's not too bad, actually. 68. I might try the gap wedge pitch. Oh, a bit of a slow. Look at that. Look how much... No way. I should have went further than that. Oh, playing from the bunker. A little splash shot again. A little lob wedge splash this time. I should probably increase that in the sand wedge. Looking at our percentage that we're in. I'm glad I did because there's a little slight little hill there. Yeah, my, oh, almost right to the top of it. Oh well, that is another par on a par five. Wow, just can't get a break. Also, what makes it so difficult is obviously the um, swing difficulty too. Not being able to hit those perfects as much. Uh, 180, definitely. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like real life because I probably wouldn't play this good in real life. But yeah, it's definitely um, a lot more gives it that real feel, doesn't it? In a sense, I guess sometimes. Uh, 180, 19 down, seven coming at us. 80, 19 down, 97. Mm, you know, you know. A little slow, that wind is slow. Oh, bring it around, bring it around. Get, slam dunk. Oh, I was going to say drop straight in the hole. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Look at that runoff just past the hole here. Look at that runoff. Oh, that's turned already. Oh, my swing line. Oh, thank God it did, actually. 
All right. Nailed it. Four under. Okay, hole 13. Another par five. Here we go. Another chance for me to um try and get a par... Uh, sorry, a birdie or even an eagle. Even the eagle. That sounds better. Now yeah, we're talking. That's all downhill, I believe, too. Yeah. Nice rock work. Yeah, very, um, very nice course to play on. Alright, what have we got remaining here? 253, 8 up. Some of the greens, I think, maybe maybe a little, little bit smaller. Uh, I don't know. You got the runoff at the back there. Yeah. Each to their own, I guess. See how we do. Yeah, see how we go coming in with this three wood. You know, three wood of mine. Not a big fan of this thing. Oh, actually, this is going to hit that front edge. That's going to slow down nicely. Up onto the green. Ah, green size is perfect. What was I talking about? Okay, eagle putt coming right up. A little bit of a left to right break here, uphill. Punch it a bit to get up that hill, but how much is it, how much will it turn though? Oh, it's turned a little bit too much. Well, at least we pick up a birdie on that one. I think that was our first par five that we do on today's course. Okay, five under. Not bad at all. I'm having a good round. Okay, what have we got here? Ooh. All right, wow. This is cool. We've got hole 14, par four, 405. 28 feet down, five miles going with us. We have the driver in the hand. What do we do? What do we do? Do I risk it? No. Let's play smart. Three wood. Just up here. Oh, fuck. Kick on. Get on. Come on, come on. Oh, thank you. That would have been disastrous. Playing out of the rough from up there. Okay, 80, uh, 189, 24 down. So let's make that 179 ish. Plus that wind, 172, not bad, not a bad looking club. And one of those funky little greens. Okay, let's play somewhat straight at this, I believe. Oh, we got the perfect two. Oh, that's going to roll. That come in like a duck shot the ass a bit. The greens are, what, what were they, were they soft again? They feel soft. Or seem soft when the ball hits, so yeah, it's not too bad actually. The settings in this are quite nice. Or the default settings, anyway. Okay, that's got a bit of turn to it. Let's bring that out a little bit more. Oh, I should have left it. I should have left it. Holy shit! Can't go around without getting a damn bogey. You're kidding. What happened on that one? I didn't... I didn't see my putt line. It could have been that break at my feet. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, that's a bogey. It takes us back to four under. Okay, hole 15, par four. 423, 18 down. Five, six coming at us. Get up in the middle. Oh, slight little fast. Shit, that's put us out in the rough. Oh, kick in. Light rough, light rough? No, okay. And it is thick too. It is thick. Can't even see the ball. Oh, yeah, I love the little pathways that they've done on this course. Oh, yeah, everything about this is nice. Uh, 178, playing out of the rough. We do have that wind. Uh, oh, that's... Could be drastic. Could be not. Could fall way short. What was our, okay, let's take a three. Let's just take the three into this. Mm, 
another massive slow. Just put myself into the um, rough even more. Oh, and a nasty lie. Look at that. That is nasty. How am I going to get this close to the hole? All right, lob wedge pitch. It's running downhill towards the hole. Look at that planting in the background. That is nice. 70, 69 to 79. Punched it. Got onto that way too much. I could be up for a double bogey right here, back to back. Never say that you're having a good round. Never, ever say it. Oh, that's uphill, so that's definitely a sandwich chip. Oh, it's not going to have the legs. It was perfect too. Took a little bit of it, too much out of it. Now it's a par five again. It's killed me. All right, back to back birdies. The old, I mean bogey. Sorry, I don't have a crack special. Hopefully, we don't go for a record here and go for a third. All right, hole sixteen, par four. Yep, straight down the middle, please. Just like that. Nice shot, too, down that fairway. Uh, looking for a bird. Looking for a birdie on this one. Uh, 127 remaining. 10 up. Four miles going with us. Twenty-seven, ten up. Let's take the old pitching wedge. A little bit of oil off. And bring it out here now. Now checking that lie out. Oh, bit of fast. That could be long. That is long. Uh, nice little chip on. Oh, actually, it's not a bad chip now. It's just all made. It's just getting that perfect. That's the hard part. That is definitely the hard part. My bridge chip. Pull that back just a whisker. Oh, that was slow. Damn it. Damn it! Alright, pop in par. Okay, not too bad. Alright, two holes to go. Alright, hole 17, par 3, hole in 1. Come on, baby. Uh, what do we got? 217, 20 down. Six coming at us. Actually works out not too bad, I don't think. Maybe, maybe a little bit of high loft on it. Oh, and that was fast. That is going way left. Such a little fast, too. Let's see if we can put this close to the hole now. 99, uh, 93, 99, okay. I'm bring it back a little bit. Oh, get in, get in, get in! Oh, see how close was that? Oh no, oh no, stop. What are you doing to me, ball? What are you doing? Oh no. Oh, and it didn't turn on me. Ah, tough one. Tough one. That is another bogey. Well, it wasn't back to back, but it's not good. Oh man, look at my back to two under. This back nine has just torn me a new one. Uh, Alright, yeah, limber the fuck up, mate. We need something special on this hole. Alright, a hole 18, par 4. We've 494 yards, 4 down. 6 coming at us. Up the middle, baby. 
Oh, and how crisp was that? Absolutely nailed it. Did I say this was a part four? Let me have a look. Oh, it is too. That is long. That seems long. Coming at three iron. Oh, no, we're not. We are coming with a hybrid here. Oh, no. Massive. Massive. Oh, no. I need to put this. I need to put this next to the hole, if not in it. All right, now I'm getting, I'm getting a little worried here. So is that running down towards the hole? Slightly it is, yeah. Oh sh What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? No. Right. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing to me game. I see what's doing I see what's going on. Here's a bogey shot. Another one coming up. You know what? You know what? This back nine has absolutely killed me. Oh, that's good. So too much. Oh, no. That is a double ass bogey. There it is, double bogey, which takes me back, takes me to, back to even. Look at that scorecard, would you? My God. That was a cool course. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. And I did say at the start, if I get even on this course, I will be happy. Oh, I got even. <laughs> All right, well, there it is, Ivory Sands. That was such a good course, and again, that was designed by our first couple designers on the sh on the um, channel, or um, Michael and Leslie Cordray. Cordray. Hopefully, I said that right. But yeah, thanks again for the course and putting that list out there. I highly recommend it, people. Go check them out. They're awesome courses. Give them a play. Show them some love. All right. Yeah. Hopefully, you play better than I do. I think I might go to that course again on Pro Clubs just to make myself feel better now. Anyway, that is me done. Thanks for joining us. And yeah, remember everyone, keep your balls out of the rough, unlike me.